Hey Puddins, what is up? Yes, I am doing a favorite January 2020. Um, I'm super stoked to show you guys what I've loved this month. I haven't done a favorites in a really long time, an actual monthly favorites in a really long time. I did a yearly favorites um, not too long ago. So first off, I wanna talk about the new year and how January just wasn't my month. I talked about it in a previous video. If you wanna go see it, it's basically where, I've, it's titled where I've been. Um, and you guys can see exactly why I was gone for a couple of weeks. But trust me, I have collected some things during that time that I've absolutely loved. Some of this I did order online, others I purchased in stores. So without further ado, I'm just going to hop on into it. I'm actually going to start off with clothing. Um, and that is this hat right here. It's um, a black and it's got that like fleece um, feel to it. It's very soft. I actually got this at Walmart for like eight bucks. The poof ball is super, super cute on it. Um, it keeps my ears warm. It's nice and, if you can't tell, it's nice and thick. Um, there are three colors, I believe. Maybe there's four. I know that there's a gray, a pink, and a black. And I want to say there's like a light blue, but I'm not really sure. But I found this in with like the purses and the belts and things like that at Walmart. So this is such a comfy beanie like literally it'll go over my my head and everything and i've got quite a big head so i look for bigger hats so that i can fit it around my head okay you're gonna think i'm super silly for this jacket but if anybody knows this my favorite band of all times is motley crew and i have plans to go see them in concert because they're coming back in concert i'm super excited um, for it, but, um, I think I got this for like, I don't even know how much I think like 20 or $30, but it is a Motley crew with all of my babies on it, especially Nikki six. And he's right on my boob. <laughs> um, and it's front and back too, as well. See it. Um, it's a more thinner hoodie. So like, I would say like, on days that are a little bit more mild and warmer you can use this like maybe if it was um like i don't know like 50 degree weather you could probably wear this out um and i really like it the only bad thing about it is is the sleeves look like this and um look at the hood but i mean if you keep your hood down like this nobody's gonna know it it's just the sleeve part i have an issue with I don't know. I might end up taking that elastic out and stuff, but we'll see. Okay, Nina bought me a thicker hoodie and I misplaced my other hoodie that I got from from this site, but I had to get me a, and you've probably already seen this in a previous video, but I got me a Jeffree Star hoodie and I wanted it super super big and super comfy it's super thick so it's great for the winter time um if you remember I had a um hoodie um from him and it said can't relate I misplaced it somewhere and I don't know where it's at now but I bought me another one and I absolutely love that one so I wish he would bring out like a pink tie-dye with black in it or acid wash or whatever the hell it is um, moving on These are um, Jeffree Star slides and it says iconic on it. And I thought, well, yes. So, wait. You gotta, you gotta look at them this way. Hold on. See? They, he had some other ones. He had one that said, um, just had his like, you know, symbol like this on it. Um, but I, I love these. Now I will say they run really small. Um, and I'm sure you can probably stretch these out, but, um, I just got these in like a week ago 
and um and I've only worn them like a few times but there's um they go more by the men's size so if you're not sure what size you are um there is a like blank whatever size you are in women's I would get like maybe a size bigger for these already so now um I'm gonna go into makeup and I'm going to start off with, I think all I have is um, little palettes and stuff. So I'm going to go from smallest to biggest. This um, little palette from Wonder Beauty, it's the Trip for Two. It is a blush and bronzer duo. Now I got Bellini and Costa Ray, but I only use this for blush. And yes, I'm wearing blush today. Um, and this blush is really nice. Um, I'm, I'm wearing it, to, like I said, I'm wearing it. That's what I'm wearing. Um, there is a like bronzer, but I at first thought it was a highlight, but no, it's a really pale um, bronzer. So like if you are a more paler person, this might be up your alley. Um, I get pretty pale in the winter time, but I'm not like ghostly white. So that probably wouldn't be fitting for me with my contour but maybe like an eyeshadow i'll probably i'll probably get creative and figure out something for it so but i got that in a boxy charm another thing that i got in a boxy charm was this little bad boy it is from ace beauty it's the scarlet dust power palette looks like this it's got a lot of um like reds and berry colors and some pinks thrown in there some little golds and stuff like that to me this kind of reminds me of some of the colors that maybe you would have gotten in the um anastasia beverly hills um what is it called modern renaissance palette i don't i've never had that palette before which i need to get because a lot of people say it's really good and and i think a lot of like reds in like red toned colors look really good with my green eyes and my pale paler skin now so i've been rocking it um one of the things that i've absolutely loved is this color which is called aurora which is my name in spanish by the way um and i uh let's see i used um nocturnal before the bahamas which are these two colors i haven't really i've done a little bit of crimson and pink moon and maui and aruba but i i don't go for orangey colors because i just don't like the color orange unless i'm like going for a look with orange in it um but this palette's really nice um <clears throat> okay so this next palette is not new i think i probably talked about it in my yearly favorites but i just want to start off with it because it's one of my absolute favorite palettes and that is the revolution chilled palette i absolutely love the packaging of it um also greens obviously oh look <laughs> there's lashes in these so ignore the lashes because um your girl sticks lashes in her palettes after she's done with them um but this is like more like nudes and greens which is really great because i have green eyes nudes go what quite well with anybody's eye color i believe um, there are some like really chunky glitter colors like this one and I mean you can tell I've hella used this um, and I absolutely love it I mean there's gold there's like I mean you can make a nude look you can make a green look next for Christmas my brother got me and Shala the same palette and that is this from Beauty Blaze this is the gorgeous me eyeshadow tray okay so not only do you have these like pinky nude colors and in the middle you have these really colorful colors but on this side you have nudes and smoky colors so i'm telling you guys like this is freaking huge and um i was kind of curious to see like if I can find it on Amazon and you can totally find this palette on Amazon. So, 
Um, if you like these shades and everything and this palette, you should definitely, definitely look on Amazon. They do have this palette on there. Um, and it's really cool because if you're starting out, I think that this is a really great palette if you're starting out because you have every color that you can imagine on here. And I believe, let's see if it says how many colors is on here. Um... There's just a lot of colors on here. I don't know exactly how many there are, but I mean, if you're looking for a palette, like a new palette, or you're beginning and you want something with a lot of colors that's very universal, you can make lots and lots of looks off of this guy right here. And it's and it's really pigmented um, for the price. I know, I'm sorry, Matthew. I looked and seen how much you spent on us, but I was just seeing reference for the video, not for... Just to be snooty and, oh, he spent that much? No, I don't care how much you spent on me, baby. So, next is um this, which is the Fenty Beauty um, Pro Filler Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. Guys, this is, like, one of my favorite foundations ever. Like, it doesn't cake up on my face. It's, I've got oily skin and I've got all kinds of different, like, issues. Like, right now I'm breaking out. And I'm also got like a lot of like redness in my cheeks um that's one of the reasons I don't wear a whole lot of blush because I don't want to bring that back out after covering it but um I do during winter time so but this is really good um no wonder a lot of um people recommend this um it is a little bit on the costly side though um I haven't really found a dupe for it if I find a dupe I'm definitely gonna like recommend it for you guys but for now, this is one of my favorites. Um, I think it cost 30 something dollars, I think it was, for this, but it's really, really good, so. And I wear it like every time I put my makeup on. So I guess I'll go with skincare. I only have two items for skincare. The first thing is this, which is the Fairs Natural Remedies Astringent Witch Hazel. This one's got aloe vera in it. But anyway, I usually get the rose one, but I've been trying this one out. But the rose one is really good as well. Um, but this is aloe vera formula. So, and usually I get the rose one. But, highly recommend to get you some of this. This is just a really nice, like, toner after you, like, wash all your face. And before you put your moisturizer on. Highly, highly recommend. Uh, I highly recommend this. Um... I feel like, you know, the older I get, the more I'm starting to focus on my skin a little bit more. And this is something that I have been, um, been using. And let me tell you guys, this is a 12 ounce bottle. It's freaking huge. It was only $8. So you can get it at Target for like 10, but if you go online, um, you can find it for a lot cheaper. So just let, let, just putting it out there. Um, so next, this is for anybody who has piercings, and I'm just going to come out there and talk about how important it is to keep all your piercings, no matter if they're healed or not, clean all the time. Even if you just do it once a day, once a day before you go to bed, at the start of the day, middle of the day, whatever. Um, get you a bottle of this H2 Ocean stuff. This stuff is incredible like literally it will clean your nose you know i have two piercings on my nose i have a lip i have a i don't use it on my tongue because i mean no but i put it all on my ears even though i don't have like actual jewelry in my ears i clean those and i'm telling you guys it's so important to keep your piercings clean not only will you get like this really foul disgusting odor that smell like something died um but also you could sometimes, um, and I've had experience with this where like one of your piercings will get really irritated and keeping it clean all the time will keep down that irritation and it won't cause it to like scab over or even get infected. And yes, your healed piercings can get infected again. I've, I know a person that got an infection two years after they got their nose pierced and had to take the nose ring out because of the infection so skincare or piercing cleaning care is a must let me just put it that way no matter if it's healed or not and that goes along with your tattoos as well Alrighty, so now i'm just going to go into like miscellaneous items i'm assuming that's where i'm at besides the sin of the month 
So first off, my wallet. I get a little wallet and let me tell you guys something. I am trying to downsize my wallet because for one, most of the time I'm only carrying like my ID and my um, debit card with me and some money. Um, and then other times I got to carry more things. So I think this is really important. I mean, look at the front of it. <laughs> it's a Toy Story one. I know. It's super cute. I decided to hang some little things on here for easy. Um, here's what it looks like. I do have my Louis Vuitton zip for coin thing in here. But, I mean, I absolutely love it. Um, it's going to be a temporary wallet, though. It will probably stay with me for another month. Maybe. Um, I do have a um, wallet that I'm eyeballing right now. I won't, I won't spoil it, but that, and if you guys can guess what brand it is, leave it down in the comment section. Let's play a game. Um, but anyway, um, I just wanted something to kind of match my purse, but is small enough to fit my purse and not really, really gigantic like my coach wallet was. So that's why I'm carrying that. And I got that in the magic at your door, my last magic at your door box that I received last year which I canceled because sadly I'm just gonna cancel it for right now eventually I'll pick it back up all right so the next thing is this cup this is one of the birthday gifts I got myself it's pink it's got cute little flowers on it I'm not a flower person but I thought this was super adorbs it's got this like really pretty glitter and I mean, I'm obsessed with coffee, so, especially iced coffee, so, um, I absolutely love it, um, there were more that I wanted, but I just got one for right now, I might go back and get the other ones, we'll see. I got some phone cases here for you guys, I actually, one of my phone, one of these phone cases is actually the phone case that I'm rocking right now, and the other one is not, um, so... Earlier in the beginning of the year, my daughter went to the, I believe it was icing store because she had a gift card from Christmas. So she decided to um, spend some money on me, which she didn't have to. And she bought me this cute little pink marble. And at the bottom, there's this like chunky blue glitter. And it's absolutely cute. Um, the icing had like a buy one get one like 50% off on their phone cases or whatever so she bought her one and I got me one so she's like just pick you out one mama um and it's absolutely beautiful like look at the the phone case is pretty good and I carried this for like two weeks maybe three this next one is the one that supposed to be on the phone right now but I don't have it on there because I wanted to show you guys and you're gonna call me bougie queen because <laughs> I got this off of Amazon, y'all. And it's basically got like two rows of these like little crystal stud things. And then this right here is nothing but like huge chunky glitter and ah, so, so, so cute. And so I feel like this is something that maybe Glitter Mama would, would rock a lot. What do you think? So I'm going to be doing a new little segment in this favorites in the favorites video and that is talking about my favorite e-juices vape juices whatever you want to call it so i have three um to start off with now i'll i'll i don't know if i'm going to do like a vape juice of the month or if i'm just going to talk about a new juice that i got that i absolutely in have been enjoying but yeah so first off is this this is from the brand Moon Mountain, um, and this is um, Project Gemini. This is an the flavor is a RY4 tobacco, orange zest, and um, marshmallow. This bottle is sixty milliliters, six milligrams of nicotine, and the VP to PG ratio is eighty twenty. So this tastes really good. This is um, this is perfect for somebody who is. To me, it feels, I feel like it's somebody who is trying to quit smoking or whatever and they want to still have that tobacco flavor, but they don't want 
to have it menthol or they don't want it just the tobacco they want some sort of flavor onto it but they still want that taste of tobacco um i learned that um ry4 tobacco is like a caramely vanilla flavor so it's like probably something that maybe like pipe tobacco smokers would probably smoke on but um this was really good um I'm, the next thing, I actually bought this for my birthday, um, because I had a birthday gift and that was to get like, I think 10 or 15% off. I'm not really 100% sh sure exactly how, min how much percent I got off on my purchase, but I decided to get this. This is from the brand Glass and it is Blueberry Cake. Um, it's also 60 milliliters and it's six milligrams and the vp pg ratio is 70 30 um and this just tastes like a freaking birthday cake but with blueberries in it it's so bomb like literally the flavor notes are vanilla blueberry cream and cake it's so good so 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 good um but highly highly recommend if you can get this i think you can get this online maybe i think you can get both of these online i get them in my local vape shop okay the next the last one that i have here i think was one of the first um vape juices that i ever purchased and i was super obsessed with it i um i would vape on this like every single day i would refill my tank up every single day and this is from the brand director's cut this is my undead girlfriend um it is um the flavors are pineapple apple and strawberry hard candy like it's really good if you are looking for something sweet but not like cakey like like that type of thing like if you're looking for something like that tastes like a starburst or something or like um i don't know like a jolly rancher this is something that would be up your out this is this is three um milligrams of nicotine in it so it's a little bit lower than these these two right here um they're off also if you're interested in vaping and you've never smoked before there's also zero nick that you can get as well so keep that in mind if you're interested in vaping you don't have to get anything with the nicotine if you want if you don't want um this is a, a 60 milliliter bottle and let's see i think that the ratio on this is Okay, so the ratio on this is 70-30. So, um, I know a lot of people think, you know, look in on that as a, as a matter, I guess. But I liked it because of the bottle. Look at the bottle. Look, it's got a cute little zombie girl on it. I mean, come on. It's up my gory old scary horse um, alley. <laughs> okay, so last is the scent of the month. And the scent of the month is the sweet light candy from ariana grande i actually have her actual perfume it's like a little bottle of it in my purse but this is actually the body spray that i bought from walmart well actually my mom got it for me for my birthday from from walmart and um it smells really good this is something that i would highly recommend if you have like a preteen or a teenager and you don't want them to smell like really strong but you want them to still smell really good my daughter absolutely is obsessed with ariana grande and her perfumes and when i was picking out her perfume for christmas i said i don't want it too like strong but i don't want it to um to like what's the word like too kitty you know what i mean so i picked this uh, i picked out the cloud perfume but then later she ended up getting this as well so yeah <laughs> i seriously cannot believe that this month is over with like almost it feels like yesterday then we rang in the new year and everybody was celebrating 2020 
and I can't believe this is a new decade to be honest with you like where has time gone like it's flying by so bad so fast and I was just thinking I'm like oh my god almost a decade ago I literally at this time I was pregnant with Shyla like mind blown already so I hope that you like this video and if you do definitely give it a uh give this video a thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're new here and become a put in and like I always say whether you're dressed up dressed down you're beautiful bye